Hello friends, welcome to CSS tutorial series. In the previous tutorial, we understood why CSS. CSS stands for Cascading Style Sheet. It is a presentation language. It is used to describe presentation of a web page or web pages. Using just HTML, we can't be able to create appealing professional websites. We can't be able to add styles, animations, special effects and transitions to web pages. To create well-designed websites, we need to take a help of CSS. To add styles, animations, special effects, transition effects to our web pages, then we need to take a help of CSS. CSS helps us to create consistent, readable, accessible and appealing well-designed websites. In this tutorial, I am going to discuss what is CSS itself? We know already CSS stands for Cascading Style Sheet. Cascading means in general pass on something to successors or pour something downwards. With respect to our websites or web designing, Cascading Style means pass on some styles to successive HTML tags. Pour some styles downwards that is to child tags, nodes or child elements. We need to understand here, parent means predecessor, remember this, child means successor. Let me go to HTML code, tree representation of HTML code. Any HTML code you take, we can be able to represent that in the tree structure. HTML tags are going to follow parent and child relationship. As I told, any HTML code we can be able to represent in the tree structure. Here, HTML tag is a root node. It is a root node or root element or root tag for our HTML pages. As we know that HTML is divided into two sections, head and body sections, you can see that here I have written head and body tags. You need to understand here, HTML tag is a parent tag for the head tag and the body tag. For HTML tag, the head tag and the body tags are children. Also you can say like for head tag and body tag, HTML tag is a predecessor tag. For HTML tag, head tag and body tags are successor tags. This relationship you need to understand. You can see in the head tag we have a title tag. So here I have a title tag or a title node or a title element. For title tag, head is the parent tag. For head tag, title is the child tag. For title tag, head tag is the predecessor tag. Similarly, for head tag, title tag is the successor tag. For HTML tag, all these below tags are actually successor tags. You can see in the body tag we have three different paragraphs. All these paragraph tags are going to be children of body tag. For all these paragraphs, body tag is the parent tag or predecessor tag. For body tag, the pay tags are children's or successor tags. Similarly, if you see in this paragraph tag, we have the body tag. So this body tag is the child tag for the paragraph tag. And paragraph tag is a parent or predecessor of the body tag. And if you observe this paragraph tag here, we have U tags and bold tag. So U tag and bold tag or a B tag, both are children of the paragraph tag. So paragraph tag is the parent tag or a predecessor tag for U tag and B tag. In HTML we can say tag, element or node all are same. Hope you guys have understood what is the meaning of predecessor and successor. As I told cascading style means passing on some styles to successor tags, successor HTML tags or pour some styles to child tags. What is the meaning of that? 
the meaning of that is if i apply some styles to the body tag if i apply some styles to the body tag out of those styles some styles are automatically put down or passed on to below successor tags you can say like they are inherited to the successor tags automatically by the css some styles will automatically get applied to the successor tags or child tags that is the meaning of cascading style with respect to our web designing then what is cascading style sheet or cascading style sheet document what is going to contain css cascading style sheet contains collection of style rules some of them are passed on or inherited to child tags when they are applied to parent tags CSS is something like a beauty kit for our web pages or our entire website. It is used to add design aesthetics, design principles to our websites. It is used to create most appealing and well-designed websites that is not possible by create by using just HTML. Note, HTML is a formatting language and CSS is a reformatting language for our web pages. HTML is used to describe just structure of a web page whereas CSS is used to describe the presentation of web page hence HTML is a structural language CSS is a presentation language for our web pages CSS3 is a latest standard specification CSS standards are maintained by W3C World Wide Web Consortium organization So hope you guys have understood what is cascading style sheet. Cascading style sheets are going to contain collection of style rules which we are going to apply to our tags in our web pages. So for this tutorial this much is enough friends. In the next tutorial we get more information on CSS. For more benefits please subscribe, like, comment and share. See you in the next tutorial. Keep learning Keep coding, keep sharing.